Today I'm doing just a quick video on how to spray your grill. Um, I've already removed it here. Uh, we're just going to be using some Plasti Dip. The benefit of using this is uh, it's a nice flat black color, but um, when you want to get rid of it or it gets old and kind of kind of torn up like that, uh, you can peel it off because it's actually rubber. Uh, I love this stuff. Uh, so anyway, today we're just going to be doing a new coat. Um, just to kind of cover up some of the patches where rocks have kind of torn it up a little bit. And uh, we'll be good to go, probably in one coat. The Mark V GTI front grille is held on by four Torx screws, two T25s on top in the left and right, and two T20s um, left and right on the bottom. So after you get your grill off, um, you're going to want to get some plastic bags and some painter's tape and just go along the edge kind of uh, kind of as uh, close as you can. You can see that I've covered the red, what the, where the red strip typically is. Um, I've already painted that black and it doesn't really need another coat. So we went ahead and uh, got as close as we could to that crease right there. So um, some people use newspaper. I like to use plastic bags because the paint won't seep through. Um, uh, newspaper, if you don't put it down thick enough, it'll seep right through and get on your get on your Volkswagen logo. So we've already got that put on, just plastic bags and tape. And so we'll be good to go to just uh, put a few coats on it. If you've never used a spray can before, you're gonna wanna shake this up for a good minute. The key to getting uh, good coverage, especially with Plasti Dip, is to do um, multiple thin coats. But if you're doing this for the first time, you're gonna to wanna to do um, just a kind of a light hazing. Uh, wait a half an hour to an hour, do it again, maybe four or five times, and that's the way to get the best coat without um, too much texture. Another key to getting a nice even coat is to do just smooth back and forth all the way across. Um, you're gonna to wanna to go all the way off the edge. Uh, that's why I've got cardboard down here. Go. Oh, it's a little gummed up. Here we go. And that should do it, that's about all I need. Also keep in mind, um, when using Plasti Dip, it's kind of a thicker coat than paint. When you first put it on, it's going to have kind of a rough texture like that, um, but it will smooth out just a little bit. You can kind of see how rough it is. Uh, it is a very thin coat too. Um, you can see there's kind of chips in there. Um, I'm not too worried about most of that. I just want to get the uh, color consistent. Um, it'll look fine from a distance. I don't know, that's a pretty good look. Maybe I'll just keep it like that. Maximum airflow. Okay, we've let this dry for about an hour with one coat. You can see it's a little bit smoother looking. You can still see the blemishes though. So we're gonna go ahead and put another one or two coats on. Uh, another thing to mention is you don't want to spray in direct sunlight like this before the, it was kind of coming through the trees, but we're going to have to move locations. All right, it's all done. I decided to do a third coat. Um, so it kind of covered up the, uh, the dings a little bit more. It's still not perfect, and if I wanted it to be totally perfect, I'd just peel this off and do a brand new coat. But I think it looks pretty good, so we're gonna stick it back on the car. It's important to use painter's tape because any other tape will get totally stuck on here and uh, potentially leave residue.
up. Leave a comment down below. Hold it and subscribe. Thanks. See you in the next one.